Hi guys, sorry I look a bit tired and jaded, but I've had a very, very busy day as I've had um, Penny, my uh, brother and sister-in-law's little um, cockapoo, no, oh, cavapoo today. Um, I just wanted to pop on because I'm, sorry, I'm not keeping the camera very still there, there we go. Um, I'm going to be changing the name of my nursery um now i know i've changed it a couple of times and and i do apologize for that um but um i'm hoping to get george sooner than i thought which will be fantastic um originally i was thinking he might be here um probably the end of this year um, but it might be a little bit sooner now, which will be fab. Um, I'm trying to think of a new nursery name that's sort of short and sweet, to the point, but, you know, quite snappy. Um, and, you know, something that'll um, stand out, if you like. Um, one name I did think about was um Tori's Tiny Tots. Um my name's Victoria and I get called Tori. So I thought that was quite um <clears throat> I thought that that was quite quite a good snappy name. Um I do only or I will only have when I get George um three babies in my nursery in my collection. Um, and I won't actually be purchasing any more after that. Um, purely because, um, well, money is the main thing. Um, and also because I think having, having three babies, um, you know, especially, I mean, a little Olivia who I have, I don't really interact with her very much, um, purely on the basis of she is quite small and she is very much in preemie size clothes um the one who is in my videos that you've seen and who i do interact with a lot is um is ivy is ivy rose um and when my full-bodied silicon comes along who will be named george arthur um he will be then be the one that's mostly in my videos um so i don't really know whether to to do a name that just sort of goes alongside george um because like i say he will be the one that that's in the videos the majority of the time i mean i'm not saying i won't ever do a video with ivy again i i, I probably will um maybe not so much an outing video with ivy but you know maybe changing and and what have you um i mean you know people are in this hobby for all sorts of different reasons um i have the reborns because they help enormously with my anxiety um they help with my depression that i also suffer with um and have done for gosh the past 10 or so years now um probably longer than 10 well it will be longer than 10 years um and the rebonds really do help me with that um and i i also had a relatively long discussion with my mum last night because my parents can't see why i like the rebonds and why I want this particular silicon doll um, or baby, whichever way you want to word it. Um, and I explained to my mum, um, you know, why I have the rebounds and why I want George. Because, you know, at, at the end of the day, a bit like anybody that collects rebounds, silicons for whatever reason, you know, any at the end of the day, our ultimate dream as a collector or as somebody who is, uh, you know, passionate about 
the dolls, passionate about babies, you know, whatever it may be, is to have that full-bodied silicon. Now, had I known from the start how much I was going to enjoy um, the hobby, enjoy dressing Ivy like I do, um, then I would have just gone straight ahead and, and bought a, a full body silicon straight away. However, they are, as you all know, um, you know, they are expensive. This particular one is coming from a lady in um, America whose name I will remember. No, I can't remember at this moment in time, but anyway. Um, so she's coming from a lady in America um, who I have been in touch with um, quite frequently. Um, and so far she has been out and I'm more than halfway off. I've, I've got a layaway for, for George and I'm more than halfway off paying for that now. Um, and I might potentially be able to get him fully paid off in the next couple of months, fingers crossed. Um, oh, what is that lady called? Caroline, she's got the, the lady's called Carol, I think it's Caroline's Art Dolls and she's based in America. Um, and I've, been on her website i've seen her work i've read her reviews i've done the research um because obviously with a silicon you can't just go you know diving in head first over the first thing you see um if i'd have done that i know i would have been extremely disappointed um so i've done a lot of research um you know it's taken me a while to come to well not to come to the decision because i've always known for a long time that i've wanted a silicon but it, it's taken me a long time to find an artist who, um, you know, I feel confident in that's going to make me a baby that I know I'm going to love, that's going to be of good quality um, and that has many, many happy customers. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, as long as she's got happy customers and, and I've seen the work, um and and i'm pleased with that then you know you, you can't ask for much more sorry i keep moving my camera guys um so yeah so oops so yeah it's by a lady called caroline um of caroline i'm sure it's caroline's art dolls um i'm sure that's what it's called uh, anyway, so if anybody knows of Caroline or has worked with her in the past, um, you know, let me know. Um, that would be fantastic. Um, but like I say, I've done my research. I've read the feedback. I've read reviews. Um, I've um, been in touch with Caroline through um, emails quite regularly uh, just recently. Um and as soon as she starts um, making George, she'll send me pictures um, of how he's coming along. Now, you can choose not to have that option if you want a complete surprise. But quite frankly, I mean, I've literally waited about three years to get a full bodied silicon. And he's still going to be a huge surprise to me when he comes anyway. So, you know, I want to be involved in every part of his, um, him being made. Um, and then, like I say, when, when he comes, um, I'm, I know I'm going to be blown away by him. And like I say, I just, I absolutely can't wait because I know as, as some of you will know, um, who follow me on Instagram and also here on YouTube, that's just my cat um shouting at me um you know you, you know that I, I can't have my own children because of the fact i do have a heart condition and i have heart failure and the rebonds they don't and on and george won't do this either they're not going to replace a real baby because nothing would ever do that 
But what they do is they fill that small little void. They make me happy. I take Ivy, every time I go into York now, I take Ivy with me and I have no anxiety. Uh, my mood is amazing. Um, you know, and it, it's just, it, it's fantastic. Um, and obviously George will also do the same. And I think if something can do that, whether it's a living creature, i.e. a dog or a cat, or whether it is um, effectively a doll, um, as that's what these, these are, but they are works of art and they are absolutely incredible, which is another reason why I like both the Rebonds and the Silicon, because I think the artistry that goes into them is just phenomenal. Um, you know, I know, um, Tasha, um, has got, she's got some incredible babies in her collection. The one that springs to my mind, um, first of all is, is Oscar. I'm just totally, totally in love with Oscar and I'm not somebody that is for open eyed babies, but he just blows me away every time I see him um, and and also Tasha is the most lovely beautiful lady um, you know and 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 again you know she, she's an incredible lady um, and I think very very highly of Tash um, I do again I email her or I um, send her messages um, I always comment on her videos and what have you. Um, she's always there if I need a bit of advice, um, which obviously getting a silicon, you know, as much as advice as I can get will be fantastic. And she, she you know, she, she's done that for me. You know, she's given me the advice, um, which is brilliant. Um, so, yeah, the, there's Tasha who I follow. Um, there's also Susanna um from Susanna's Susanna's happy place um Susanna's a, again another lovely lady um and there's also um Chris from uh Chris's cuddles who again is is a, a you know a lovely lovely lady um so there's those three in particular that that stick in my mind um and you know i hope they will you know continue to support me um support my channel um and you know i do need some more subscribers so if there's anybody else out there who wants to subscribe to my channel um which at the moment is called um reborn baby mummy um i won't be changing the name of that um for a while until at least until George starts to get made um so that will be the name for the foreseeable and obviously when when I found a name that suits and I change that name I will of course update you guys um on uh, both on Instagram and um again on YouTube so um yeah so I think that's about it for now guys uh tomorrow I have got what have I got on tomorrow? Oh, I'm going out. It's my brother's birthday tomorrow. Um, so I'm going out tomorrow for my brother's birthday with the family, which will be lovely. And also my auntie is over from New Zealand now that she, um, n now that New Zealand's opened up again now. Um, so she's over at the moment. Um, so that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. Sunday I'm going to be chilling and watching a film with a friend. And Monday... Um, what am I doing Monday? Oh yeah, Monday I will probably go into York with Ivy. I would say I do it on Tuesday, but I've got to go to the surgery to have my warfarin levels uh, checked and it's in the middle of the afternoon which is fine because it's quieter going at that time so it suits me better but it just means that it kind of scuppers my day a little bit but it's not the end of the world um 
so yeah that's about it i'm just babbling on here so yeah sorry there was no babies on this one um the next video i do will probably be um an outing video with ivy which will potentially be on monday probably probably do that monday unless there's another bank holiday coming up oh, i'm sick of bank holidays i like my routine i don't like to be um i don't like to be out of routine um it it's not good for my stress levels and my anxiety when I'm not in routine, but that's just part of my condition um, and what have you, unfortunately. So we just have to go with the flow. Um, but anyway, oh, excuse me, but as I've babbled on for 15 minutes now, I'll uh, wrap this video up. So take care, you guys out there. Stay safe. Love you all lots. And I will see you in the next video with my little baby girl, Ivy Rose. See you soon, guys. Bye for now.